This charism, I often talk about love, but really it was a charism of light. Right from the start, I could see that this spirit would spread all over the world. Even at the beginning, we prayed for this. It was the Feast of Christ the King and the reading in the Mass said, Ask and I will give you all the nations as your inheritance. I told my companions that we would reach the whole world, and we have. We prayed that we might be instruments to carry the spirit of love and light throughout the world. I was continuously under the action of this light which guided me on what to do, on how to act, on our way of working, of praying, of studying, of communicating, on how our homes should be, our way of dressing. I always had light on, in the beginning especially on these things, and then later on the expansion of the movement in the continents, in how to organize the movement and become above all a people. It was all accomplished. I foresaw all of this. I would say to my companions in our first focolare, there will be a new art, a new form of politics. Everything will be renewed. That's probably why I didn't even realize that the war had ended. I was so absorbed by this charisma which was flowing out into the movement. Everything happened gently. The light which came was from another source, although I saw my own thought within it. Its touch was gentle. God doesn't crush you because grace refines our nature. It doesn't destroy it. All my earlier formation was useful because grace raises up our humanity. It wasn't in the slightest frightened. You know, sometimes people say, imagine all that responsibility. I don't feel any responsibility. I let him do it. But you know, it's still like that with this light. God guides me. I'm guided by this charism, which is a gift of the Holy Spirit. I see. I speak and I communicate it, and then it comes about. But it's not me, it's God using me, He chooses. We had to fulfill the prayer of Jesus, may they all be one, that is, one family, and it's happening. Of course, when I am in the next life, others will continue to carry everything even further ahead. If I were to ask to live a last will and testament, I would leave Jesus in the midst to everyone. Love one another as Jesus has loved us. Be ready to die for one another. Be a family. That's what I'd say. That's what it's all about. <laughs>